welcome back we are now in exercise number one for metro cam mill training and this is going to be our exercise now this is an intro video which i will include in the beginning of every exercise and basically just to go over the part before we start programming the part so for every part i'm going to open it up in solidworks because i created it to begin with in solidworks and the only reason for that is just to really view the part a little bit better than metro cam now, if you've never used SOLIDWORKS, it's actually the most used program for CAD creation in the industry. So it's basically the most popular CAD program, while MasterCam is the most popular CAM program. So they're both the most used programs in their industry, okay? So what I've done is create your part in 3D. After that, I created a drawing in uh, also SOLIDWORKS. So this is your drawing file right here. So you can print that out if you have SOLIDWORKS 2015 and beyond. Now, if you don't have SOLIDWORKS, don't worry. I also saved this as a PDF file. So you'll have the drawing uh, as a PDF file. If you don't have PDF, it's an Adobe Acrobat Reader. Basically, if you go to Adobe, A-D-O-B-E.com, it is a free software to download just to open up the drawing. So you can open up Adobe and uh, open up the file after that, or you can just double click it once you have Adobe and it should open up automatically for you, okay? So this is our part. So what I suggest is you guys print this out and have it in front of you. You also want to print out the MasterCam flowchart. So I'm gonna open that up real quick, which is also a PDF included in your exercise files folder. And that's what's gonna help guide you through the entire programming and program creation in MasterCam. So that will help you step by step. And I'm gonna be using that in the first exercise and in the next few exercises until I feel like you guys have got a good enough practice that I don't need to keep going over it. But again, print this in front of you. This is fits on one sheet, eight and a half by 11, if you print it out. And also same goes with the part drawing. So the part drawing fits on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, print that out, have it in front of you. Now you can stick the MasterCam flowchart, for example, on your wall in front of you. This way it helps guide you with the first maybe five to 10 programs that you create just to get yourself used to creating things the right way. All right, so let's go back now to our model. So this is our part. Let's go over what we'll be doing in our part. So first and foremost, this is a rectangular part. So what I'm gonna have to do in MasterCam is create a rectangular block, which is gonna be our stock. Okay, now that rectangular block will not have a radius. It's gonna be sharp corners. So we're gonna learn how to machine the radiuses around our part. And what we'll do, and what you'll always do as a CNC machinist basically, is start out with a block a little bit bigger on all sides, maybe except the bottom, but really all sides, the top, the sides, the front, and everywhere. And the reason for that is so you can come in and machine it to the exact dimension that you want and have a very good surface finish. You don't wanna just get a block that is exactly equal to all the sides over here. So you're only machining the middle here and just the radiuses here because you won't get a good surface finish on the sides of that block. So you wanna make sure to get a surface finish all around and on top. So what we'll do first is that we'll start out with facing our part on top. Then we'll also uh, do a contour machining. We'll machine all around our part, including the radiuses. We'll also need to come in and machine the pocket in the middle. After we get that done, we'll come in and what we'll do is we'll center drill as well as drill these three or five holes, I'm sorry, in our part. Now you can also see that there's a chamfer in the hole. So we'll learn how to come in with a chamfer tool and machine that depth as well. And last but not least, you'll also notice that there's also chamfers on the corners over here on the inside pocket of the part. So we'll need to create an operation to machine those as well, okay? So we'll get started with that by creating our machine setup in the next video.